Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Peppermint OS 5, which was just released today. And uh, I was fortunate that I was able to actually serve on its uh, beta test group. So I'm able to go in there and uh, look for some bugs and, and contribute to the project. Uh, one of the cool features of this distribution is this little application here called ICE. And this allows you to create simple uh, web apps that are then featured within your LXE menu. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to open up that application right now. And uh, let's create a web app for YouTube, because let's face it, we spend a lot of time on YouTube. I'm going to place that over in my sound and video folder. And uh, if I wanted to, I could select an icon from my uh, computer. I don't have a YouTube icon there, so let's just go with their default right now. We'll use the say, uh, site fav icon, and it'll grab the um, low resolution fav icon that shows up in the top left corner of the website. So you'll notice a little pixelization here. But uh, if you want to, you could always replace that. I'll show you how to do that next. So once you hit apply, it will uh, go back to the beginning, and you can go in here and easily add and remove items through this little remove pane. I'll show you some advanced features in just a moment. So let's go ahead and take a look over here in sound and video. Go over to YouTube and uh, you'll see here I am. I'm already logged into my Google services. So uh, the YouTube what to watch shows up. If I wanted to, I could just have it go directly to a URL um, next time I create this, this uh, application. Now this is really, really useful because then your web apps will be featured alongside your traditional applications. Now let's go ahead and check out how you can customize these applications once they've been selected. My bad, I hit the wrong one. Okay, I'll hit uh, Control H to show hidden files, and where it does, what it does is it saves the um, the desktop application uh, shortcuts over into your uh, local share applications folder. Now you can go in over here into properties and uh, you could edit the icon if you want. So let's let me actually do that really quick. Let's go over to Chromium, which is the default browser for this uh, distribution. And we'll do a search for a YouTube icon or YouTube logo. So let's see, um, ooh, that would actually look pretty nice. So let's go ahead and download this file. The default search for, whoops, for right now I'm going to throw this in my uh, pictures folder. The default search application for Peppermint OS is DuckDuckGo, which is really nice. So we got that saved. Now I can go over here and hit OK. And boom, I've got myself a high resolution icon for my YouTube file. Whoops, there we go. We'll give it a chance to update. Hold on, let me uh, pause this while I answer the annoying phone call from probably a telemarketer. So it was a telemarketer, which I promptly ignored. Let's uh, go back to what we were doing here. So if you go over into sound and video, you'll notice the little YouTube icon shows up there. I probably should have went with a playhead or something. But what's really cool is now when I bring up YouTube, and I tab through these applications. You know, it might take a um, a login and a logout for a display here, but it actually shows up as a separate I application within your uh, your system, even though it's uh, running in Chromium itself. Now, one of the other cool features of this distribution is the Peppermint Control Center. And if you've used Peppermint in the past, uh, Managing the preferences was a little troublesome because Peppermint OS is 
a combination between LXDE. Um, it's based off of Lubuntu, but it also includes features from the XF uh, window manager, uh, XFWM, so XFCE window manager. So what they've done here is they've 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 created a uh, combination uh, preferences panel where you can go in and, and make some of those changes, uh, put in your own custom shortcuts. There's a ton of cool ones pre-built in. Your desktop effects you can enable and disable, so you can give yourself some shadows if you want. I personally like to keep them disabled, but that's just me. And some uh, really cool advanced features. And because this is a really lightweight uh, distribution, you can really do just about anything very quickly. Whether it's uh, surfing the web, uh, editing video, or just watching YouTube. It's, it's a lot of fun to use, and um, I actually use it as my main uh, distribution now. It's it's lightweight, but you're not compromising a lot of the uh, modern features. And uh, personally, I think the application ICE by itself is probably one of the easiest ways to bookmark uh, applications into a panel. And it, it really is a killer app, so to speak. So go ahead and give it a shot. It's based off of uh, Lubuntu 14.04. So it is a long-term support as far as the uh, security updates go. And this will be, uh, be out there for the next year until they come out with uh, Prepament 6, which I'm sure will be even better than this one. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and let me know what you think in the comments below.